Hey everybody, I'm Ginger on Wheels. Today we're gonna to be testing these fire resistant sacks by exploding an electric unicycle slash lithium battery inside of them. This is an electric unicycle. It has a lithium battery inside of it, just like all other electric unicycles. And if you use the wrong charger or if your charger becomes unstable or if your cells become balanced as your wheel gets old, the batteries can blow up. They undergo a reaction called thermal runaway where they get hotter and hotter and the pack will... And if it's charging inside your house, the pack will catch fire inside of your house. Also, I've seen a problem where the wheel can explode inside your car if you're driving in your car and it damages the BMS somehow. It's just really not good. So we've got these fireproof sacks. We're gonna test them out today. Okay, so this is what I designed. It's called the fire sack. It's a triple thick layer fire resistant bag. It's gonna prevent your house from burning down if your unicycle does go up in flames while it's charging or while you're sleeping or while you're not even home. You can place the unicycle inside and this is fire resistant up to 1500 degrees Celsius. It's also got a Velcro piece on the back here. You can fold the lid down. Okay. Once you have the lid Velcroed to the back of the bag, you can just slip it over the top of your wheel. But this is a much safer solution than just having a raw unicycle exploding in your house. Okay, so we've got a unicycle inside the bag here. We've obviously jerry-rigged the battery so that when we touch these, it's gonna completely short the battery and hopefully burn the wheel down. What this simulating is like a faulty charger or if there's a short inside your wheel or if your BMS becomes damaged, this is a simulation of what will happen if that happens. Okay, so we touched the positive and negative wires together, but as it turns out, in-motion wheels actually have a built-in BMS that you can't bypass. In the next attempt to ignite the cells, we put an external battery pack inside the bag for a total of over 1,000 watt hours and poured high octane fuel inside the bag and lit that on fire. Surprisingly, the cells still didn't burst. So our last idea was to puncture the cells using a screwdriver taped to the end of a long stick. As you can see, the cells burst with that idea no problem. More smoke builds as thermal runaway takes hold. As you can see, the bag does a great job of preventing the initial explosion, but as we return to zip the bag fully closed, pressure builds inside and blows a small hole in the zipper. So the production bags are going to have reinforced zippers with proprietary metal threads and a small vent hole for expanding air and smoke. I'm sure the fumes coming out of the bag are still really hot, but the question is, would you rather have this inside your house or this? No, it's the EUC graveyard. So I felt that the location we chose to film in was in the middle of nowhere, but it turns out it wasn't. A farmer came out of nowhere on his tractor and told us we had to leave, so we obliged and chucked the bag in the car and drove off. Me and Ginger are in the car. Uh, sh** not, we're in the, it's in the brand new fire sack, and this shit is still going off in the background. Like, look, there's the wheel like, is on fire in the car. In, in the, the car, like, can you see them smoke? Like, this is the dumbest sh** we've ever done. <laughs> like, ever. But look, it's like literally not it's just literally freaking just venting out the window. The fire sack works. It contains flames. Yeah, like I'm literally okay it's, driving I'm, it in I'm the car. I'm confident enough in the fire sack that we're, we're right. driving and the wheels, I can hear the it's cells like, popping, exploding in the back. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is crazy. Look at this. Just freaking venting out the window. Man. Okay, so it's the next day. I let this thing sit outside and in the rain all night. I'm just gonna look at the aftermath real quick. This is the original fire sack inside of the second fire sack. So here is the inside. I'm really impressed with how this thing held up. The actual bag itself didn't burn at all. The only thing that burned and the failure point was the thread on the zipper. The fact that the bag itself didn't burn is actually amazing. Like the temperatures were so, it was incredibly hot. This thing got so hot, it was hot two hours after it caught on fire. I still couldn't touch this bag. I think it's somewhere near 2000 degrees Celsius for a lithium fire. And the only damage the actual fire sack underwent was this like discoloration on the front. A little bit of melting here. But there's no holes in this, in the bag definitely will help mitigate the dangers of having a unicycle in your house. Literally the only thing left of my wheel is embers. It's absolutely crazy. Like, what is this? What is this? Oh, it's a shell of a lithium cell. <gasps> Little battery. Battery no more. It's just set. Look at my hands. Totally gross. I'm gonna stop digging around in here. It's also extra super smelly. But the fire sack does work. Go to firesack.com if you want one. Pre-order now.